Hey everyone, it's Mark and Katie. We're at Woodland. We're here to learn about the Cask Ale Festival coming up. What's a cask ale? Why don't we head inside and ask AJ and find out? Great idea! <laughs> Man, that was a really long walk. I really need a beer. <sighs> Hey, how's it going? Hey, Dick. Hey. How's the beer today? Oh, it's so good. Excellent. So good. You drinking Cascales? I am. Yes. Yeah. We'd love to know more about this beer. Well, let me go show you. Okay. Great. What's Cascale anyway? I'm glad you asked. So, beer gets made just like normal. Nothing different from making a normal beer. When it comes over to one of these conical fermenters, you put the yeast in. After you got all your sugars just right, yeast are going to eat sugar. Piss out alcohol, poop out CO2. So that happens just like normal. Now the part where cask ale gets different is a normal beer is gonna to go to a bright tank. You force some carbonation in there, you take a keg. The difference is you put a little bit of fresh beer in with the beer that just got finished fermenting. You seal it off, now if you get any other goodness, like extra blueberries for a blueberry porter, um, extra hops for a hoppy beer, pumpkin spices for say a chocolate brown ale. So once you put this in here, you're just gonna seal it up. And then it's trapped. And then when you serve it straight from the vessel that it finished carbonating in, um, you serve it a little bit warmer so you get a lot more flavor out of it. A lot smoother mouthfeel. Kind of like a nitro beer. Cool. Yeah, great. Now we're gonna go one step further. Instead of just serving out of these, which is a normal, really cool way to drink some Cascal, we also have some used bourbon barrels from Black Button Distilling. Um, and we have our blueberry porter sitting on extra blueberries. And we have Blue Goodness, which is our um, one of our flagship IPAs, sitting on, well, there's some bread in there, so it's gonna be a sour Google and goodness. There's some beer on there. When you're drinking Cascal, you can see that real thick, creamy head. This right here is called a sparkler, so it strips out extra CO2. So you can see that's called a cascading effect. All that CO2 just forms a real tight, thick head up top, and it, it lends towards that creamy mouthfeel. So, how many brewers are going to be here? In addition to us, there's seven more coming. Where are you going to fit them all? Oh, let me show you outside. Okay. So AJ, tell me, what do you have planned for the festival? A lot of fun. So uh, to go with seven other breweries joining us with their own variations on their cask ales, uh, we've got music, food, uh, we're going to have a big tent, so rain or shine, we've got a big 40 foot tent going out there in the lawn, um, and it's just going to be, hopefully some food trucks can pair up some good English style um, food offerings to go with some English style beers. Oh, and so we've got seven breweries. Uh, the breweries will be... FX Matt, uh, Good Nature, Fulton Chain, Schmaltz, Seneca Lake Brewing, Lukenheimers, and then way from down on the southern tier, Binghamton Brewing Company. All sorts of different styles. Um, there should be a whole wide range, so there should be something for everybody. Um, some really unique stuff, too, that you really don't get to try ever again. I know that you guys do a lot of fun things with your beer, um, cookies and treats, and you infuse all kinds of things. What's one of the more interesting combinations you guys have done, that, in your opinion? We've done a bunch. We threw, we use peanut butter powder sometimes to do peanut butter versions of beers. We threw chips and white cookies in there once. That was pretty cool. Um, so what does that mean, you threw cookies in there? Crushed them up and I was able to get almost an entire blue package of Chips Ahoy <laughs> in a bag to go into, I think we were like four short. That so sounds awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so anything you can throw in there, it's just cool to try different flavor combinations. Thanks, AJ. Uh, we can't wait for this on the 15th, but uh, let's go inside and drink some more beers. Cheers, more Cheers. beers. Thanks, gal. <laughs>